Hello everyone, I just want to do a simple tutorial on how to create a controllable 2WD robot. This is a two-wheel drive robot, as you can see from these two big tires. One trolley wheel is used as the front tire. In order to control the robot, you will need either smartphone or tablet that has an accelerometer or G-sensor support. When it comes to hardware, what we need in this project are, obviously, any version of Raspberry Pi. Though for anything prior to Raspberry Pi 3, you will need to get a Wi-Fi adapter for them, which is quite cumbersome considering the Pi 3 has built-in Wi-Fi capability. To drive the motors, we need to use a motor driver and we have two options, either L293D or L298 end. As you can see, the top section of this chip is marked with this small notch or indentation. Pin directly to the left of this indentation is pin number 1 for the chip. Now, we are ready to connect female to male jumper cables to the Pi. There will be 6 cables connected to GPIO 21, 20, 16, 26, 19, 13, plus 1 ground and 1 5 volt. There are a total of 8 cables connected to the GPIO. You may use other GPIO pin according to your preferences. Now, we are ready to connect the Raspberry Pi to the chip. The 5 volt will go to pin 16, GPIO 21 to pin 1, GPIO 20 to pin 2, GPIO 16 to pin 7, GPIO 26 will go to pin 9, GPIO 19 to pin 10, lastly GPIO 13 to pin 15. Just make sure everything is connected properly. We have to connect the top and bottom section of the ground rail with the jumper cable. Therefore, we could connect our ground pin of the chip to the ground rail. The ground pin of the chip are pin 4, 5, and 12, 13. Just follow exactly as what I am doing. Lastly, connect the motor terminals to pin 3, 6, 11, and 14. Finally, we connect the positive terminal from our batteries, from our battery pack, to pin number 8 of the chip. And the ground is connected to the ground rail of the breadboard. For controlling the Pi using mobile web browser, we need to have some kind of protocol to allow communication between the Pi and the browser. To do that, we can use a protocol known as WebSocket. I won't go deep into the subject since I just know the basic of utilizing this method. WebSocket is a powerful and efficient method to allow Raspberry Pi and web browser communicating with each other in real time. Basically, what we need to do is as follow. First, we create a HTML web page. Second, we use a Raspberry Pi to host a web server to serve the web page. Third, 
we create a JavaScript code to handle accelerometer reading obtained from the HTML. And finally, we send the process accelerometer readings to the Py using WebSocket.